If I don't have everything now, then well, it's too late to go back. All I'm saying is that a week ago, at least, I said, hey, send me your Spotify playlist. Send me some music. Send me anything that you would love to make a person listen to. I wake up this morning and Beyonce said, you know what? She said, here's a drink. She said, here's a mood. She said, here is everything you've ever wanted. And if that's not like a good omen for this trip, I don't know what is. Does Beyonce just serve me some lemonade? And vacation starts soon. Yes! See, I just got a new pop socket, which means I now have a for my phone for when I am driving. Oh, thank, you know what? Everything's falling together today. I feel like I should knock on wood because I'm saying that early in the morning and I haven't even left for work yet because I still have a full work day before uh, the magic starts. So, well, the magic's beginning. What am, who am I kidding? Beyonce just gave me a gift that none of y'all could have ever given me. We are about to go get breakfast. We. I, I am about to go get breakfast. I think I'm saying we because I'm taking you along. Taking you along. <laughs> I'm not lonely, I swear. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go. It's gonna be a Duncan for breakfast, onward to work we march. And then from there, we're going ham, y'all. We're going ham. So I know I'm gonna get looks because I'm literally in the parking lot for And I wanted to show you the setup that I have before I hit the road, because I'm finally in the road now. So in the light, you can actually see everything. I've got my shoes for my outfits. Here's some clothes, you know, just general car stuff. You never know. Uh, in the back seat, I've got my suitcase. Now what I'm going to be doing for the duration of the trip is that I'm going to be, every time I go into a hotel room, putting all of the belongings that I need for that night and the next morning slash day into this blue bag here because I don't want to be dragging this and that around everywhere I go. Now it might not be like the wisest thing to do, especially considering the fact that I don't want my windows to get smashed and this to get taken, but I mean, nothing in here is of any significant importance. Everything that is important will be in the backpack that I will have on me at all times, which will either be the blue one or one of my drawstring or small over the shoulder bags. Um, and then of course that will just come with me into every of the hotel rooms that I'm staying in. Um, this is my little like car bag box thing that I put together last night. It's got um, Bluetooth speakers, um, extra battery. Let me put that up here so I can charge that while I'm driving. Some snacks, more snacks, lots of caffeine at the bottom here because you never know when you might need it. Before tomorrow's drive, I might put this in the front seat so I have better access to it, but I'm only driving a few hours tonight, so I'm really not going to need that. And then I've got my jackets that I'm going to be using, sweaters all put around here. And up here I've got, you know, my driving shoes, my slides. Um, and then I've got my backpack. I brought a pillow just because I also brought a bunch of pillowcases. We're gonna go get gas. Um, yeah. So we're on a ramen place, and I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. We're like in the bathroom, and like, I don't know, is it supposed to be like a feng shui type thing? Like, I, I don't know, but like, we love her. All right, I just had an awesome time at dinner and hanging out and talking to my friend, G. I don't know if she wants me to say her name because this is going on the internet, so that's G. But yeah, we ate at this really cute ramen place, super cute. Um, and we're in Fairfax right now, um, Fairfax, Virginia. Um, yeah, it was super cute. Um, I am walking back to my car right now, but before I go back to my car, I'm going to pee because I'm about to hit the road for, um, fuck, where am I going? Is, the, the town is basically called Petersburg, but like, I don't fucking know what it's gonna be like, so we'll know when we get there. Yeah, it's a beautiful night. Like, I know it's late, but like, and I know I'm gonna be there in like two hours from now. I don't know, it's honestly fun. Like, it's beautiful, it's like warm. I should maybe not vlog in the crosswalk. People are also staring, but I don't care. I'm in a good mood, a happy mood. We just had a wonderful night and it's gonna continue. And yeah, I'll let you guys know what's up after I pee and get in the car and see if anything else happens. But next up, Petersburg. I'm still in like the parking garage in Fairfax, but I'm trying to decide whether it's a better idea to like 
put everything I need in that blue bag now or whether or not to like wait till I get to the hotel. I think I'm gonna wait till I get to the hotel because even though I know it's like you can show up at 24 hours and like get your room, I wanna like get there first and then deal with like getting into my room and everything. So I think I'll get there first, check in, uh, see what's up. And yeah, it's uh, almost 10 o'clock, so I'm hoping that I get there before midnight, but if not, like, I don't care. I'm all, like, hyped up on, like, little bits of, like, pink drink caffeine and, like, just relishing and, like, the fact that I just had such a good time with my friend and I'm so happy. And I'm on vacation. Like, I'm on my trip now. Like, work mode is off. A sister can say fuck again. It's a great night. It's a great life. Hello, Ponzi vibes. Welcome to the party. All right, so we have an insane situation. I am in, fuck, like I don't even know what to do. This is weird and I'm like not comfortable. I mean, I spent $40 on this hotel room. What am I expecting? I get to this place, I, my door, ugh, I don't even know. May, I might have to explain this further when I get in the room because right now it, it, there's no way I can explain what's fully going on. But right now I'm literally grabbing my mace. This sounds bad. It is bad. Like I knew I'd be sketched out, but like, it's wild. That's what it is. So let's do this. I am going to record this softly over in the corner of the room that I'm in right now, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, just because the walls are paper thin and the very kind lady at the desk right across the hall doesn't need to hear me talk shit about the hotel that she works for. I can hear her. She's like just talking casually right now and I can like hear her. So I'm gonna be talking very softly. Um, but this is an experience that I like should have fully expected, yet it's still catching me off guard. I bought this hotel room like a month ago just because it was a, like a good way to get a few hours of driving out of the way before I hit my next destination because I live around Baltimore and I'm a little south of Richmond right now. So I figured, get off work, hang out with a friend, do two, three hours of driving, and like chill. That way I have like a few hours less of driving the next day. Like this, the thought process makes sense. So right now, uh, I am not comfortable. Did I expect comfort from, from a $40 hotel room? Not quite. Um, I'm getting my money's worth, but I'm also getting it, the weird experience with that. So I pull up and at first, let me just explain. I booked a hotel with what I believed was a Western Inn. So I'm thinking it's a Best Western. Okay, I get an email confirmation for a Best Inn and I'm like, all right, maybe it's Best Western. I pull up, it's called Knight's Inn. So I have been given three different hotel names for this hotel. I literally walked in not knowing if this was the actual right hotel because I've been given three different names for the same hotel. Weird, whatever. I spent $40 for this room, which again, I'll show you in a minute. I pull up and there are people just hanging out all over the place. And I'm thinking like, all right, these are people just like staying here. Well, I get inside to the very tiny lobby. It's like clearly a very, oh my God. Oh my God, hold on. Why is does their phone give me another hotel name? Just super eight. So like, where am I? <laughs> I am in a place that transcends just this realm, essentially. I am in the most liminal space I've ever been. I don't know what's happening. What was I even talking about just now? I'm so thrown off by the additional hotel name that I was just given. I'm sitting at a desk, by the way. It's not even like a Bible. Isn't that like a like American thing? You put Bibles in the like nightstand? I don't know. So I go in. And there's two ladies behind the desk and they're so sweet. Such sweet ladies, so sweet. They're so kind, um, helped me very quickly. I walk in though and I go up to the desk. They like immediately joke to each other because I'm the only reservation for this entire hotel. Now, whether or not that means I'm the only person staying here or I'm the only person who actually reserved to have a room here, maybe that's what it means. The friggin' elevator dings every like minute or two and people like walk in and out. Um, the Wi-Fi went down while they were doing it so they couldn't give me keys 
because their system also went down because it's connected to the Wi-Fi. So I don't have keys to my room. So she was like, when you leave the room, just like take the little like chain and stick it in the door. That way it like doesn't close all the way, which leaves all my things and my belongings vulnerable. I was gonna get all my things and put them in the blue bag, but I don't wanna hang out there because I know that's an invitation for someone to come up and be like, oh, where are you from? Oh, what's going on? Like peeking in, being in my business, which is why I grabbed my mace because people were watching me as I was walking back and forth between my car. So I just grabbed my blue backpack, which has my main stuff, and then my day clothes, which are in my suitcase. My blue bag, which has my pillowcases and like washcloths and um, PJs are still in the car because I did not, I don't want to, I'm not going to make another trip back in and out and just without a key, I don't have a key to my room. I don't have a key to my room. Like, I understand, like, you should check, like, reviews before you, like, book places. Yeah, you're right. But, like, I also like cheap things. And a negative Yelp review isn't gonna stop me from booking a hotel, despite the fact that maybe it should. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep in my clothes for tomorrow. That sounds gross. Hi. That's me, it's fine. I, I'm just, I'm not leaving this room until tomorrow morning, essentially. I have a bathroom. I figured out how to turn all the lights on because the switch in the room doesn't work. Yeah. So, will Shannon learn a lesson from this? Probably not, but like, with my luck, the story won't end here. Mm -hmm.